Hello again, ITPC. Two videos in one day. When was the last time I did that. So I stated in my other video today, I was going to catch up on YouTube. And I did. Which is what led me to this video. Uh, first off, I'm smoking my Mr. Bodchka. Mr. Brog, I'm sorry. Bodchka. Rusticated. In it, I have Ennerdale. Um, can't really say I dedicate that blend to this pipe, but I smoke it in this pipe quite a bit. So, going back to the subject matter of this video, I got caught up on a lot of the channels. One of my, one of the channels I subscribe to is Midwest Piper. If you do not, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, you should check it out. He is a great, it's a great channel. He's got a lot of really good content, better than what I put out on my channel. Um. One of his later, latest videos was a VR to Old and in the Way, another person, another great channel that I follow, and it was a VR to him about what's your favorite pipe. I've been putting out content for over two years. I've been smoking a pipe for longer than that, but I've never ever thought, it's kind of ridiculous, but I've never ever thought to do that. So this is a VR to Old and in the Way. basically covering my favorite pipe uh, so I probably have a top four this would be number four if any of you own a mr. Brog you probably if you own one you probably love it uh, the only issue with this pipe is that I noticed this is a nine millimeter which is great I think it's the only 9mm I own, actually. Um, but the stems that come on these are pretty cheap. But I've been trying to find a replacement. Um, more of like a... Looking more of like a, you know, amber color. Not amber stem, but amber color stem. Acrylic. Haven't been having much luck, but... I'm going to continue to look. I think that would look awesome for this pipe. So this would be my, my number four. Fourth favorite pipe. Uh, number three I didn't bring out. But it's it's you've seen them. You've seen me smoking it probably a number of times. I don't smoke it as much as what I should, being one of my favorite pipes. I'm not quite sure why that is, because it smokes awesome. It actually smokes better than this one. Um, I'll explain why, but I smoke this all the time. Um, that would be a, my 320, my Savinelli 320 Rusticated Eleganza. Um, love that pipe. Well, it's a great smoker. It's a beautiful pipe. Should have brought it out, but that's okay. My third favorite, or second favorite, I should say, would be my Savinelli Rusticated Lacorda. Why this? The only issue with this pipe and this pipe is... They're pretty short, and you, I tend to chooch pretty hard on my when I'm smoking, and uh, I pay for it smoking these. I have to slow down, like, a lot. Um, other than that, they, they smoke great. They're just short, but this is just a beautiful pipe. I've gotten a lot of compliments on that. Um, that's probably my second favorite, though. 
Uh, it's easy to load. It's got a pretty deep bowl on it. Mm. As long as I'm not smoking flakes. Flakes tend to get really hot. Um, I smoke a lot of my aromatics in this. Really, my ribbon cut. And this would be my number one favorite pipe. I don't know if I'll ever find one that I like more than this. Obviously, I like the Savinelli 320 design. This is the St. Nicholas Rusticated 320. Um, I've been gravitating to Savinelli since I started smoking a pipe. The, uh, especially the 320s, I just can't. I just love the design. I love how they feel in my hand. Uh, love the bowl size. They don't get overly hot. Uh, I'm trying to branch out. Uh, I only own one Peterson, and that's like a smaller um, emerald, I think. And I'm not overly crazy about it, and I don't really smoke it much at all. Uh, I see a lot of people that own Petersons, love Petersons. Um, I'll probably continue to try to find a Peterson that, you know, I think I will like. But it's pretty tough whenever I start shopping around for pipes to get away from Savinelli's for me. I don't know. Uh... You know, I really wanted to get a good variety because uh, this is a hobby as much as it is anything else for me. So I'm going to have, I'm going to continue to buy pipes throughout my lifetime. And I wanted, you know, a variety. But man, I just have a hard time get from not buying Savinelli's. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If there's a brand that you just absolutely fall in love with, stick with what you like, right? Um, not a Nording guy. As a matter of fact, I can't stand the way they look. I'll probably never own a Nording. Um, I'll basically be a mass-produced pipe owner. I, I just have no... I have no interest in spending five, six hundred dollars on a handmade pipe or, you know, uh, three, whatever, uh, more of the extravagant looking pipes. I just want something that is functional and feels good in my hand. And that's basically what I have. Um, but yeah, I saw that VR and I thought that was a, a good subject to come out and uh, do a VR for Old and In The Way. Uh, aimed it back at you, my friend. Um, yeah. It's pretty much a toss-up over me between these two. But this here, you really can't... When it comes to a... Just a workhorse of a pipe you cannot beat 327 ellies they <laughs> that's in my opinion um, I basically bought this Mr. Frog as a more of a workhorse pipe I could put it in my car um, you know take it with me when I go it could be a on the go pipe but I fell in love with this sucker so much, too. I just started leaving it at home and smoking it a lot. And uh, that's kind of the story with with my top four pipes, anyways. Um, for new smokers, anyone who is just starting out, I don't think I have any, any subs that are just starting out. I think pretty much everybody that's subbed to my channel has probably smoked longer than me. But 
the best advice I can give you, though, is if you're going to start smoking a pipe, don't go get a cob. That's what you hear a lot of people say, go get a cob. A Dr. Grabow, Grand Duke, something like that, they're inexpensive. Um, they smoke terrific. Um, I would suggest something like that. That's That was... Or just go to a brick and mortar and find the basket pipes. You generally get get a basket pipe for under thirty bucks. Um, that's my suggestion. You don't try the first time with a cob, because cobs. I I generally hate smoking cobs. Check me. A lot of people say they smoke just so good. I have not had that experience with a cob. Um, That's me. Everybody's different. But, uh, you know, uh, that's pretty much covering everything I really wanted to talk about. I think I will, uh, I'm going to try to get aim more toward pipe related topics a little bit. Um, so I will probably start covering um, different topics about different tobaccos, uh, you know, some heavier nicotine blends, um, medium nicotine blends, things like that. Um, but, so yeah, this was just a VR, holding it in the way. Showing off my favorite pipes. I know that's a lot of people when they watch channels, uh, they kind of are curious about that. They see you smoking different pipes and they wonder, okay, is that one of his favorites? Is it not? What? So, um, just thought that would be a good topic for one video. And uh, as always, I hope everyone's having a terrific Thursday. I uh, hope you're planning planning out a great weekend in advance. Looking forward to this weekend. I've got four days off, so I'm going to make the best of it. Uh, spend time with my kids. and uh, So, looking forward to that. So, as always, hope everyone is doing well. Glad to see you make it back to the channel. And uh, until next time, keep them lit.